New at five now, it made headlines as a house of horrors, a filthy home where a mother raised three children in squalor. Now the case is in court, and one of the children, now grown, blames her school and government for failing to help. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff has the exclusive story now from Long Island. This is what childhood looked like for Cecilia Young. We were among filth and a mess. It was really, it was disgusting. But here I am thinking at that point, you know, this is the norm. Surrounded by hundreds of bottles filled with their own waste. We had to, you know, urinate in styrofoam cups and, you know, like those party cups, those red cups. Life was anything but normal for Young and her two sisters, yet they couldn't tell anyone. It was a secret. It was like a big secret. The Lindenhurst home they shared with their mother was filled with bags of feces. Used toilet paper was piled to the ceiling. And I got used to that smell, and I knew I smelled like it. There was no running water. And abruptly, it was freezing. You know, we were, we were freezing for a couple of years there. Now, 18 years old, she's speaking out for the first time, saying the system failed her. They failed to recognize that the three little girls were being abused blatantly. You could see. Obvious signs, she says, were ignored. I looked like a very sick, sickly little girl. I mean, I was 50 pounds and my, my teeth were screwed up. She was perpetually absent from school and hungry. I would go to school and think, like, what am I going to eat tonight? You know, what am I going to do? Eight years after this house of horrors came to light, Young is filing suit this week against her Catholic school, the Suffolk Police, and Suffolk Social Services. Safety nets, she says, failed. Nobody took the action. Nobody took the responsibility to even ask me. Their father, meanwhile, was barred from seeing the girls. He was fighting off false sex abuse charges, orchestrated, he says, by his estranged wife. But Ray Young feared something was terribly wrong inside the house he still owned. I I was hoping that it wasn't going to be that bad, but it was, uh, you know, like my worst nightmare when I walked in. Tipped by neighbors, his children were sleeping in a car. He broke into the house in February 2007. What he found was beyond belief. Oh, I saw dead animals. I saw bottles of fecal matter and urine and the overwhelming stench, just that, that, that smell of death. Was, was in that house. His estranged wife, Deborah Young, later pled guilty to neglect, admitting to mental health problems. The daughters now live with their father, who still agonizes over what went wrong. I want to know why they did, they did nothing. Why they didn't help? They had their, their blinders on, you know. I always, like, Monday morning quarterback and say I should have or I could have went in. Cecilia, now a college student, says her lawsuit is for all the right reasons. I want to make sure that this never, ever happens to any other little boy or girl ever again. To turn a personal horror into a public lesson. In Lindenhurst, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. And there was no comment from Suffolk County and its police department. The Diocese of Rockville Center, which runs the school the Youngs attended, also said it does not comment on pending litigation.